Hi, I'm Bria, and here are five tips to staying healthy and productive during quarantine. Number one, get some sleep. It's always important to stay well rested. However, during this time, it is crucial to manage your sleep schedule. Last night, I went to bed around 11.30, and I set my alarm for 9.30 this morning. <coughs> Wake up! Number two, get dressed as though you're leaving your house. Believe it or not, getting dressed will make you feel productive and ready to get some work done. Number three, make a to-do list. I know you've probably heard this a million times, but it makes it a lot easier to keep track of your time and energy. If you're like me, you have a limited amount of that that you're willing to focus into schoolwork. So let's make the most of that and get some stuff out the way. Number four, eat. Well, eat something that's good for you. Most of us are familiar with that feeling of wanting to snack when you're bored, but let's actually make sure that what we're snacking on is good for us. Limiting the amount of junk food you eat during quarantine will make it easier for you to focus on work so you can go back to enjoying this break. Number five, do some activities. And of course, you know, I don't mean binge watching every original series on Netflix and calling that a marathon. Go outside, start some hobbies, rearrange your room, work out. This is your time to get into anything you've been wanting to do. We're going to be here for a while after all. Five and a half. Okay, I know I'm cheating, but relax and try not to feel guilty about it. With this time, you could probably contact some friends and family. Enjoy the things you like, and eat the food you want in moderation. Hi, I'm Bria from that video you just watched. I hope you liked it, and I hope you stay home and stay safe during this quarantine period. Big shout out to Miss Afaya. I hope I said that right. She is the person who helped me with information in the nutrition and sleep portions of this video. All her information will be left at the end of this video, along with some resources for mental health. Contacting friends and family during quarantine is a great way to keep your mental health up, but if you're not really comfortable talking with them or you, if you don't think that's enough, um, I'm going to leave some resources for professionals at the end of this video. But I hope you liked it, and I hope you stay home and stay safe during this quarantine. Alright, bye.